Howdy, folks. I'm a caterwauling penguin named Fred. I'm Amber. And here's some Reddit. For our Saturday morning special, our first and only letter is titled, Am I the Jerk for Not Showing Up to the Birthday Party That My Husband Planned for Me? So, my husband is a jokester and a prankster. I put those quotes around that. He has a habit of pulling pranks, especially on my birthdays. He judges my reactions as overreactions and says that I should loosen up and be extra happy because he thinks he's making my birthdays extra funny. But actually, it upsets me and puts me in a position where I get laughed at and recorded by his family. Does your husband love you? Yeah, that's my question. He's planned my 26th birthday this past week, which was held at a restaurant. I told him that I wouldn't go if he was planning on pulling one of those pranks that he's famous for because it's in a public place and I didn't want to be publicly humiliated. He swore on his mom, the Bible, he promised me and brought two witnesses, wrote a whole agreement saying that he'd pay money if he pulled a prank. I believed him and said that I would go. I had to cancel with my parents who wanted to celebrate at their house. Well, the day of my birthday, I got a text from one of his friend's wives telling me that she heard him tell her husband about the prank that he was going to pull on me at the restaurant. I was stunned as she detailed what the plan was going to be. I felt so upset and anxious. He already went ahead and got to the restaurant to make sure that we were all set. I ended up declining to go. He started calling and then texting and asking where I was going and saying that the party was starting without me. I turned off my phone and I went to my parents' house and we had a small party there. What a happy ending. Mm -hmm. I went home at about 7 p.m. and found my husband fuming at me. He lashed out asking why I didn't show up to the party that he had put money on and time and effort into. I told him why, and he called his friend's wife a liar and reminded me of all the promises that he had made and accused me of not trusting his word. I said that I couldn't take the chance, risking him basically ruining another birthday of mine. We had a huge argument, and then he started giving me the cold shoulder while pointing out how I embarrassed him and wasted his time and money by not showing up. Well, OP... You could have just said that was a prank. <laughs> All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. Zero on the jerk scale. And uh, I definitely consider reevaluating your relationship. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I think if this is the only time he does these pranks, it's still really not acceptable. But it's at least... <laughs> better than him doing them to you all the time but if he's like using you as a punching bag all the time then this is really not good yeah well i'm kind of reading between the lines it sounds like these parties are with his friends and yeah, his family yeah. like why weren't your parents invited to be part of this yeah why were your parents not there that's really what i want to know why wasn't your family there why weren't your friends there why is he setting you constantly up as a punching bag and taking pictures and video and having everyone laugh at you like this is just not good yeah, and so if this behavior, it obviously bothers you and he doesn't care enough about you not to do it, like, I would seriously reevaluate the relationship because he doesn't seem to care about your feelings. Yeah, I think that that's really valid. This is, this is not a good situation at all, OP. And I can't blame you for not showing up to that birthday party. And I know he's like, oh, well, you embarrassed and humiliated me. Well, payback, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> turnarounds fire, fair play here you had every right not to show up no matter what but i think especially now and showing giving him a taste of his own medicine right you, you just chose not to play his game and i think you chose well and at a minimum in the future plan all your parties yourself and make sure to have someone you trust monitor him so he can't rig it yeah anyhow take care and good luck and bear cub 15 says so my husband is a jokester and a prankster not the jerk that's all that's really needed for a judgment here every post on the sub that i've seen about pranking is just immature jerks using pranking as an excuse to be immature jerks so he either wasn't going to prank you this time which is very unlikely based on his track record but fails to see why he's completely untrustworthy because he set this precedent or he was going to prank you despite all the promises that he wouldn't. Based on the information that you received, he most certainly was going to prank you. 
this isn't cute or funny. Stand your ground and tell your husband that you will not tolerate any more pranks and mean it. All right, folks, it is Saturday morning tea time, mostly because I'm recording this Friday night. <laughs> I've got some tea here and I guessed it right after the second try. <laughs> Let me know what you think I have for tea. Why was the letter damp? Why was the letter damp? Because it fell into some water. Because there was postage due. Oh, uh, no. No, that isn't. That's not right. That's not right at all. <laughs> A terrible pun. A terrible pun to hopefully enlighten your Saturday. <laughs> and I've got licorice spice. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this Saturday morning Reddit. If you did, consider giving me a like. And if you didn't, consider giving me a dislike. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye. You could be a caterwauling penguin named Fred. A caterwauling penguin named Fred.